Hello, welcome to Maths with J. So we want to write down an expression for the nth term in this sequence. So the best thing to do is to write out a table and we've got to write the expression in terms of n. So n is representing the term that we're on. So we've got four terms. So one, two, three and four. And for the term, we'll use t. So we've been given that the first term is 301, the second term 298, the third term 295, and the fourth term 292. And then we're going to look at the difference between the terms. So we want to see what's going on, how we're getting from 301 to 298. And we can see that we're subtracting 3, so it's important to put in the sign there. And you can see that from one term to the other, we're doing the same thing. We're subtracting 3 each time to get to the next term. And that is going to give us the first part of our formula. So the formula for the nth term starts off with this number minus 3 multiplying n. Now we know that's not going to be enough to give us the whole of the formula because if we just had that, that would give us minus 3, minus 6, minus 9, minus 12 and so on. So the good thing about that is that those numbers are going down in threes, but they're the wrong numbers, aren't they? We need to start with a much higher number. Instead of starting with minus 3, we need to start with 301. So we need to have a look at how we're going to find what we need to add on to start at the right number. And I think the easiest way to think about this is to look at the sequence that you've got and look at the first number and think about, well, what if that wasn't the first number in the sequence? What if we had one more number at the beginning of the sequence? So what number would we have before 301 if 301 was the second term in the sequence? Well, instead of subtracting 3 from it, we'd need to add 3 on, wouldn't we? So going in the opposite direction, we're adding 3 instead of subtracting 3. So the number that we would have before 301 would be 304. And that is what we need to add on to get the nth term. So our formula is that t is minus 3n plus 304. And you may prefer to write this with the positive number first, so we can see that it's really 304 minus 3n. And it's a good idea to check the answer. So that means we would put in one of the values of n that we've got. Best not to try 1 because that's a, a bit too simple really, but 2, 3 or 4 could be checked. So let's check n equals um, 2. So when n is 2, then our formula gives 304 minus 3 times 2. So 304 minus 6, which is 298, and that is what the second term is. Now we've got the formula, we can use it to work out any value in the sequence. So we could work out the tenth term, the hundredth term, the thousandth term, the two hundredth term, whatever you like. Um, so for example, the tenth term would be that um, we'd get 304 minus 3 times 10, so that would be... 304 minus 30, so we get uh, 274. 